Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is the Valentine's Day look, nighttime edition. So it's a little bit darker, sultrier, more bambi. I had a lot of fun filming this. If you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Action! I'm gonna start by priming my eyes with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I just put a thin layer to cover any redness and little veins I may have. And then I'm gonna set it with the Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Collaboration Palette in the color Stark, which is just a nude color. I put that all over my eyelid, just as a setting powder, pretty much. It was the easiest and quickest thing to grab. And I make sure it's all set under my eyebrows and on my eyelid. And then I'm gonna go in with the color Anaheim and I'm putting that into my crease just so that it's an easy transition shade you can say and it's just a light brown color kind of cool toned and of course he's making faces and talking so I'm making faces back at him <laughs> now I'm gonna go in with this dark brown which is kind of has a little bit of red undertones it's called punk and I'm just putting that in the outside of my eyelid and on the inside and I'm just going to create like a sandwich. You know, ice cream sandwiches? Those are my favorite. So, I just put that and then in the middle I'm going in with the NYX stick in the color Cottage Cheese, which is like an off-white. And I do this just so that when I put the eyeshadow on top, it kind of has a little bit more pop. And you'll see, I got a flat shader brush and I'm using the color... D826 because Makeup Forever colors don't have names, they just have numbers. So that's all you're getting. <laughs> and I was a little bit upset. I wanted that color in the middle to pop more. And after I saw the video, I realized it didn't, but it still came out nice. So I liked it. And now I'm going in with that light brown again, and I'm just trying to blend in that crease so that there's no sharp lines with the dark colors which is why I like a transition shade that's gonna be light so that it goes transition shade light and then my skin <laughs> it's pretty much and I'm just gonna go back and forth and I make the color a little bit darker with the punk and the makeup forever color and then I just go back in to my crease and I blend it out until I get that darkness that I'm looking for that soul treeness <laughs> that was kind of creepy not sexy at all but that's okay guys I um, this is actually a clean brush that I went in with and I didn't pick up any I didn't add any color to it I just went into my crease to blend it now I'm gonna add some fix plus and I'm going back into the makeup forever color which is just like a burgundy with glitters and I want to make sure that it has more pigmentation so that's why fix plus had to be called in I'm just making sure that they're even and that the darkness and that they look alike. Yeah, adding more, more glitter. These voiceovers are always fun. Now I'm going to go in with my... Inglot number 77 gel black liner and a Morphe brush that I got in my monthly subscription. And I've been testing it out and I like it. I do this. It takes me a long time. Don't be fooled by the speed that I'm going. <laughs> it takes me a long time to do this. And I did a little bit of a thick liner just because I wanted, I don't know, it was just a different look. And now I'm going to use my... NYC liquid liner on top which kind of just helps with the sharpness which I love the two combined it gives you a really matte black look which is what I was going for and then I went in with House of Lashes and their glue, which is probably my favorite eyelash glue. It really stays on. Once it gets a little tacky, you put your eyelash on and it doesn't go anywhere. I was trying out the black eyelash glue as well, which is 
I don't know. I think I still like the original white eyelash glue. Now I'm going to prime my face with the Nivea um, Sensitive Skin Balm, Aftershave Balm. You know what it's called. It'll be down below in case you have any questions. And I'm just putting that all over my face, letting it get a little tacky before I put the Makeup Forever Pore Minimizer in just my cheeks area where I feel like my pores are a little bit more obvious and then I'm gonna go in with my Makeup Forever HD foundation in the color 125 it's pretty much my favorite and I'm actually trying a different technique I'm using a, cons um, a foundation brush just to put it on my face and then I'm going in with my beauty blender and blending it I wanted to see if this helped um, the beauty blender not absorb as much of it which I have that problem I feel like it does absorb quite a bit and that's the micro mini I just like using it around my eyebrow area and my eyes I feel like it gets in those small areas and make sure that my foundation is everywhere since I put foundation after my eye makeup that's just a personal preference and there was an eyebrow hair that didn't look right so I had to fill it in some more there we go much happier now now I'm using the Mac pro long wear concealer and then on top of that I'm going to use the same concealer that I used on my eyes which is the fit me concealer which is probably like a favorite 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 concealer of mine I use it every day all the time for everything I have like three shades I can contour with it too if I wanted. And now I'm using the F, the F, the Elf powder, and I'm gonna use that to bake my face. Baking is a must, especially on the weekends. I just, I like the way it looks. It's a personal preference. You don't have to bake, you can just set your under eye concealer with whatever powder you choose, but I like to bake. So. I baked and I made a mess on my dark green shirt which was actually a gift from him so I looked over at him when I realized that it had white setting powder all over it I'm using the fit me pow pressed powder and I'm gonna set the rest of my face the reason I set my face with my foundation is because if I don't my contour will be very like blotchy and it picks up on my dry spots especially on my left cheek so I make sure that I set my con my concealer. I set my foundation with a powder, whether it is a colored powder or just a white powder, it doesn't matter. But it needs to be some sort of pressed powder. And I'm just contouring with the Kat Von D Shade Light Palette, which is a must. Um, I have the Anastasia one, and I haven't picked it up after I purchased this. This can't speak. There's a mirror to my side, there's mirrors everywhere, so I just, because of lighting, I like to get different angles and I look at different mirrors to make sure that my face is symmetrical. I don't want one cheekbone to be <laughs> more defined than the other. And now I'm baking the bottom half of my face. I'm not really baking as I am just cleaning up my contour. This I very rarely do, but I decided to give it a try and I look like a crazy person that's okay I'm going in with the I think it's the Colossal mascara I'll make sure to link it down below um, I like this mascara I need a new one it's kind of already old and it's getting a little comfy and I tried out the new wet and wild color icon blush in the color pearlescent pink which is 325 B and at first I wasn't sure about it and then I put it on my face and I realized yeah it was pretty pigmented um, I'm going under my under my eye I'm smoking out my bottom lash line or I did smoke out my bottom lash line with the same colors that I used and then I wiped off well I didn't wipe it off I used a big fluffy brush to take out all the excess powder off my face because I was done baking and I just went in with the dark towards the outside, which is that dark brown 
from the Gwen Stefani palette and then towards the inside I put more of the lighter burgundy color but I really wanted like a smoky look and then I went in with a different mascara for my bottom lash line only because this mascara has a smaller wand and it's not gonna make a mess or it's less likely to make a mess and get mascara all over that concealer that I worked very hard on baking and now I'm putting the Becca Cosmetics Opal Liquid Highlight and I'm just putting a little bit I can't get used to putting liquid highlight I feel like it always leaves a mark no matter how much I blend it which is why I usually just stick to powder but I'm really trying to get my highlight like really really intense and it it's not working yet I haven't found the perfect routine but that's okay I'm still working on it this is the Becca Cosmetics um, trio that came out in December which is um, champagne pop pearl and the darker color and so I just mixed champagne pop and pearl which is a nice combination and then I went back in to the nope not this palette to the makeup forever palette and I picked up color I 524 I made sure that my brush was a little bit wet with um, fix plus just because I really wanted some intense highlight in the inner corner since everything else was so dark and I just kept applying until I was happy and then I went again ahead and I put some on my cheekbone because I wanted to glow <laughs> I was really working on it and now I'm just spraying some fix plus and now I'm pouncing a little bit on the highlight to make it a little bit more natural and so it seems like it's coming from within and from your skin I'm lining my lips with a Jordana red lip liner and I will link it down below because I don't remember the name of it exactly and then I will use a liquid lipstick of course which is the LA girl liquid lipstick in the color frisky which is probably my favorite red it's got that blue undertone which I absolutely love and that was pretty much it I just finished it up with the liquid lipstick if you do not like liquid lipsticks you can use a regular lipstick if you don't like bright reds you can go darker or you can go like a dark plum which I think would look really nice or you can just do like a very pale mauve color which would look awesome as well and now I'm setting my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray fixing my necklace and that was it happy Valentine's Day and if you don't have a Valentine's that's okay enjoy yourself love yourself and have a great weekend Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this look. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. New videos every Tuesdays and Fridays. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.